Last month, 100,000 Brooklyn voters received absentee ballots with the wrong name and address printed on the return envelope. This week at early voting poll sites, we've seen long lines snake around several city blocks in hours long waits, even for the mayor. The Board of Elections has to expand these hours to make it easier for people to vote. That's the bottom line. They need to do it quickly. Susan Lerner is executive director of Common Cause New York. The advocacy group has long fought for reform, saying the problems with the Board of Elections are rooted systemic and there needs to be more oversight. What we need is an election system which is centered on the voters that is voter friendly, not party and candidate friendly. Every election cycle there are mishaps, but with record turnout during this all important presidential election year, calls to reform the beleaguered BOE are growing and they're getting louder and louder. Elections are the lifeblood of our democracy and they need to be owned and controlled by the public, by officials who are responsive to the voting public. The BOE is a two-party board made up of 10 commissioners. Each party appoints five members. The city council can nix nominees and the governor can fire commissioners, but that rarely happens. A recent New York Times investigation found the board is steeped in nepotism, with the commissioners filling key positions with relatives and acquaintances. The structure of the board is decided by the state constitution. Legal and policy expert Christina Antello says it takes time to change the constitution, in this case, at least two years. You have to have the state assembly uh, agree on a resolution with the Senate, uh, not one year, but two years in a row. And then you have to have um, the uh, voters approve it. In addition to board accountability, another reform is professionalizing positions within the board, creating a job description where it's posted publicly and hiring is based on experience and qualifications. Reform will take political will. Antello says pressure directly from the voting public for immediate oversight will be faster than amending the state constitution. To be somebody that kind of sits over top, and manages it and kind of watches from over top to so when something goes wrong or rules aren't followed that there is some repercussion. So Marymount Manhattan College will become one of 89 early voting sites. They will open their doors, open their campus to voting this Saturday and Sunday. We're live on the Upper East Side tonight. I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.